things are there which we will be using in the form level. Only we will be using them in the form level. We have a concept oh. called delayed delayed uh, link type. And the other one is active and passive. OK, delayed oh. is nothing but delayed will be shown the data in the in the form of it will show from the main table only. All the records. All the oh. unique records. OK, from the main table, it will show all the unique records. Okay. okay, then if you select any record, it will show that matching records here in the child table. Okay, okay. so this okay. is how it will okay. work. So generally, in this case, what will happen if you select one record or that's uh, that, that record related records are there here, right? Two records are showing when you have yeah, more yeah. records, when you have more records okay. like we have like uh, 10 records, 20, maybe 50 sometimes. Okay, yes. more records. When you select another record, it will automatically takes time to load all the child records here, right? Yes. OK, so in that case, what will happen? System will take a lot of performance. So, but generally delayed is nothing, but it will show all the records from the main table. Unique records because when I mean, header table will have always unique records only. The join table will show only that selected record matching records. This delayed active and passive we will use it only in the form level not in the coding level coding level we have inner join outer join exist join not exist join this is only in the form level we have a concept called link types the link types will have these three and even all the joins also inner outer exist not exist okay you understood this one once yes. you select one record it will show that matching records in the header it will show all the records okay okay, okay. So when you have the more uh, now what I'm going to talk about uh, why we active we have delayed and delayed also we have so similarly we, it both will work similarly. Okay, okay. But the dif difference is for the delayed. Once you select any record when you have more records it will take a lot of time to load it. Okay. okay. So until the it, it will load the records here in the lines here in the below one you cannot select other header record. OK. OK, so until it loads all of them, so you cannot select other record when you use the active. Okay. When you use the delayed, if you select any other record in header, it has to show all the matching records here. OK, yes. it will give you a pause. Pause in the sense you can easily move whether it will load or not. You can easily move. It will not wait until it's load all the records. That is the main difference. It is all about mainly related to the performance. But okay. generally uh, we should not use the active. It will take a lot of time. It will take the more process processing. You know, it will take more performance. Okay. So we'll use active. I mean delayed always if you want to show the records like purchase lines, header and lines, a similar concept. We will use always delayed. OK. OK. That is the that is the delay. And active the last one is passive. Passive okay. is nothing but passive will not show any records in the form level automatically. We have to write a coding. Okay. In data source level we have a method called active method. We go to data source the form level in any form. We take any form. We go to data source. I'm going to data source. Go to student table. And if you go here and go to data source level, if you right click and see override methods, we have active method. The active method is nothing but whenever you select any record, the form level, it's automatically execute that method. So when I select any record and I change you know my control to another record, so automatically that active method will get executed based on that event. So we have to write code to show the data here. Okay. So to do that programmically, if you want to show the data, manipulate the data and show it here in the form level, we'll use the passive. Active delayed passive. Okay. Is it clear or any doubts? OK, uh, can you repeat passive once please? Passive is nothing but when you open a form. So generally in active and uh, delayed, if you select delayed, right? You will have only yeah. you will not have like. You will yeah, not have the second record. You will have only yeah. unique records here in the header level. You select unique, unique yeah. record, it will show that matching records in the below, I mean in the below table. Okay. Right? 
Yeah. So that is the delayed and passive also like that. Okay. 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 When it comes to the uh, passive, passive will not work like that. If you select also, it will not show anything here. So you have to write program programmically. You have to write a code to show that. That we will use it very okay. rarely. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. So the where do you have to write that in the data source level? The data source level will have the methods. Okay, we will have the overhead methods, the active method. You have to use the active method. In the active method we have to write because when you select any record in the form level, active method will get executed. That is okay. the trigger point. Okay. Okay. Is it clear? Okay. Concepts are yes. clear for you guys. Yes, clear. And we'll we'll wind up for today. Then we'll discuss okay. and we'll show the examples tomorrow. Okay. Okay.